There's something wrong. It sticks to our... long ago. He sold the antlers right off and just left the carcass to rot. What a waste. Matt, go and grab my bag, will you? I want to retrieve the bullets. Yeah. Thanks. Mom! Think. He's bleeding, but he hasn't been shot. Looks like he broke his leg trying to get away. Can we save him, Mom? Huh? I hope so. I'll go get your bag. Thanks. I'd love to find the one who did this. by your office. They told me you were over here. All the way from home. Oh, I'll say, no matter what I do, I can't get rid of him. <laughs> I uh, suppose you're waiting for your Uncle Ray? Now, how did you know that? Oh, your Uncle Ray and me go back a long, long time. Oh, is that so? Hmm. Like when dinosaurs walked the earth. <laughs> I heard your Uncle Ray was coming for a visit. Yeah. I understand he's quite the character. Oh, he is. He's been everywhere. He's done everything. He's got a million stories to tell. You sound envious. Yeah, maybe I am. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if I settle down a little too soon. You ever think about that? Yeah. <laughs> but you can't waste your life thinking about what might have been. I guess so. Hmm? You are. Uh, you know this guy. He's been asking for you. <laughs> Good to see you. It's been a long time. Too long a time. It's great to see you. Now yeah. the man tracks all over the world but can't seem to find his way home. I'm here now. What do you got for me, honey? No, I'm just coffee, Ray. Everything else is water under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want you to meet Adam Scott. This is our new judge. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. I remember your piece in National Geographic a few years back on the Sahara. Great photographs. That piece won the National Magazine Award. Uh, it's hard to make that desert look bad. Ah, come on, sit down. Thanks. Hey, I hope you're going to stay for a while. Well, I'm here on assignment. A photographic essay on my hometown or some such nonsense. My son would love to meet you. Photography's one of his passions. Huh? Give me five minutes, I'll show him everything I know. <laughs> yeah, I've been missing this place. I don't know whether it's old age or nostalgia or what. But I've needed to come back to my roots. Well, we're glad you're back. Oh, we sure are. Thanks. Hey, Mrs. Dillon. Hi there. Hi. Kate. I'd like you to meet the chief's uncle, Ray. Ray, this is Kate Scott. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you, Ray. And Matt Scott. Hey, man. Matt, Ray's a photojournalist. Maybe you can persuade him to give you a few tricks of the trade. Really? That'd be great. So I'm persuaded. All right. Um, Adam, Dave, I'm sorry. I need to talk to you. Something's up with White Fang. I'm going to check it out. Hey, thanks a lot. All right. I took these out of the deer. Thirty out six. Used for deer hunting, about as commonplace as Tuesday night. 
Not much to go on. No. It's strange. When people around here take a deer, they kill it for the food. Ah, but these aren't hunters. These are poachers. Poachers are a whole different breed. I know. They're just after the antlers. It's a big business. Antlers sell for hundreds of dollars a pound. Soft young deer horns even more. They grind them in the powder and use them for medicinal purposes. I think we've got a major problem. What are you doing? What's going on? Matt, hello again. <laughs> Never did have any luck with animals or children. Sorry, he gets like that sometimes, so he gets to know you. <laughs> Is this your truck? Yeah. I'm uh, here on assignment. You got to go out on a shoot tomorrow. You want to come and help me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, it's a deal. I'll pick you up first thing in the morning. Okay. Do you think the poacher's from around here? It's hard to say, Matt. Could be anybody. Suppose it's someone who lived here, someone who knows the land. Like who? Well, like the chief's uncle. Matt, you can't go around accusing people, especially without a shred of evidence. I'm not accusing. Mm. I was just wondering. What made you think of Dave's uncle? I don't know. Uh, must have been something. Or was the way Fang was sniffing his truck? Man, White Fang could have been sniffing at anything. You shouldn't jump to conclusions. It's not right. I'm sorry I brought it up. Next time I'll just keep it to myself, all right? I'll get some proof. Hello there. Oh, hi, Ray. Go on in. Morning, Ray. Hi. Ah, oh, Matt. You ready to get a move on? Yeah. Sure. Okay, I hope you got your walking shoes. Photography is hard work. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Not a problem. Come on, Fang. <laughs> Might be better to leave your dog behind, Matt. He could uh, frighten the wildlife and ruin a few of the shots. We'll be back before lunch. All right. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, Matt. Something's bugging you, I can always tell. What is it? You know, when I used to be with the district attorney's office, I used to have to deal with all sorts of horrible crimes. So you'd think this poaching thing wouldn't bother me so much, but for some reason it does. Hey, I've got some. Some locals spotted an old van down uh, River Kenya, and it belongs to this ornery old coot named Tabor. What do you say we pay Mr. Tabor a visit? Would you hop in? I used to love it here as a kid. Come up here every chance I got. Yeah. It's so peaceful. <sighs> White Fang found that deer not far from here. It's a terrible thing, poaching. In Africa, I've seen elephants with their heads cut off just for the ivory tusks. Hate to say it, but people can be awfully cruel sometimes. I guess you've seen a lot of cruel things. Wars, natural disasters. All kinds of human tragedy. Hey, I've been in some pretty dangerous places. Hey, Ray. You ever carry a gun? No, I don't believe in them. They give you false confidence, and that screws up your focus. I'll take quick wits over a fast gun anytime. Why don't you take a couple of shots? You mean it? That's what we're here for. If they're good, I'll put them in the article. How'd you like that? My pictures, in a magazine. 
Take your time. Frame your picture. Remember, the background's as important as what you're shooting at. Looks like he's not here. That old buzzer could be watching us anyways. Well, let's have a look around. Just keep your eyes peeled. Taper's the kind of guy he'd shoot you and then ask you what your business is. What a mess. You see anything? There's a lot of junk. Could be something in that old dumpster. Bingo. I think we've got our man. Maybe not. That's still on the skull. That's old. All the rest of these are dry and bloodless. They shed off a living deer. Um, just walks around and picks them up. Which is perfectly legal. Even the Boy Scouts do it for pocket money. Oh well. So much for Mr. Tabor. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ray. I learned a lot. You got a good eye, Matt. Stick with it. You could go far. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. Hey. You know, he's actually a nice guy. Pretty cool. I learned a lot about photography. What, you still don't like him? What do you got? I thought he didn't believe in guns. Well? It wasn't him. I thought sure we had our man. So we're right back to where we started. I'm afraid so. Maybe not. What's this? White Fang found that in the back of Ray's truck. Dad, he told me he doesn't believe in guns. What's he doing with bullets? It's the same caliber I found in the deer. How do you know White Fang found this in the back of the truck? Did you see him take it? Well, no. Not exactly. I can tell by the way he's acting. Matt, I thought you liked Ray. Well, I do. I don't know. See, this isn't evidence. At best, it's a wild guess. Okay. Come on, Fang. Suppose Matt is right. Suppose Ray is not what he's made out to be. Let me call around. Thanks, huh? Make it easier to follow. Okay, now you watch out for me. If anybody comes, let me know. Customers than you. Get out, get out, get away. I'll try and get tough with me one more time, and I'll put a bullet right between your eyes. Talk to you. What's up? It's about your uncle. 
Listen, I called the magazine he's supposed to be working for. Yeah. There is no assignment. The person I spoke to said that he'd been down on his luck ever since he ran into some trouble in Africa. I'm sorry, Dave. So what are you trying to say, then? He could be the poacher. Oh, Adam, I can't see it. You're wrong. I suppose I'm right. Matt could be out there tracking him right now. I got angry at him and said I needed evidence, and he got Hank to make some concoction the old-timers use for their dogs to follow. I'm gonna go look for him. Better go with you. They have to be at River Canyon. You're wrong about Ray. I hope so. But I can't take a chance Matt's out there. I don't think he's gonna hurt Matt. Let's just get there. Doesn't look like he's here. Come on, let's check it out. What? I'm just gonna take a look and we'll go, all right? So fast. Where's your dog, Matt? Hey, he's not here. I doubt that. But I'll take care of him when the time comes. He shouldn't have come here. It complicates things. Come on, let's take a walk. Move! <laughs> Don't move. Years of living dangerously, and I'm finally done in by a dog and a kid. Dad, Keith, here's your evidence. All right? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. You used me. What did you think? I wouldn't notice? You think I just turned the other way? You used me? I got a right to know why. I didn't do anything against you, Dave. Things started going wrong for me a few years back. And poaching is just the lowest. You think I don't know that? I owe a lot of money to some very heavy people. God, I don't know. I was desperate. You've broken the law, Ray. I got a job to do. I got to take you in. You got guts, Matt. No hard feelings? Just a few. Oh, 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 easy, easy. Hey, Chief. I thought I'd find everybody out here when I saw the little fellow's pen was empty. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm sorry about your uncle, Dave. Thanks. I thought he was my hero and... I don't know what to think of him now. Well, think of all the good you did and what it took to do it. Thanks. Well, everybody ready? OK. Come on. It looks like he's ready to take his chances.
Fang.